Hello, welcome back. Uh, Brian from About to See Again, and uh, as I said, I'm going to show you at least one way to hook up a DC motor to um, our little RC controlled device here, or for that matter, any robot you want to play with. Um, there's a few ways to do it, and I'm, I'm going to start with the simplest, and I'll shoot another video uh, comparing multiple ways of hooking up a DC motor. I like to use these things for, um, for doing some quick and easy uh, motor control. Electronic speed controller, it's set up for an RC car, so it goes forward and reverse. Uh, don't buy the ones that are for propellers. Most propellers don't need to go in reverse. Uh, and um, it's designed interface directly where a servo would have, so it takes the same servo signal. The only thing you want to do is, uh, depending on your circuit, mine, what I've got going is, of course, I've got my robot hooked up, and it's got its own battery supply and I want to uh, hook up another battery, a separate battery, to run a DC motor and to, con to uh, eliminate any possibility of powers crashing together I've simply uh, pulled back the little tab and for the moment have removed the red wire, the voltage wire, from the, the connector to the ESC that way I won't have this battery and this battery talking to each other. Uh, the other thing is the motor. Um, I love these. This is a great way to do it. This is a very powerful uh, gear drive DC motor that I pulled out of one of these things, which is just a drill that you can buy at Home Depot, rechargeable. Came with a nice battery pack. I think it was $30. Um, and I'm gonna, I'll probably show these shortly. I'll have some printed, 3D printed mounts so you can mount these on your chassis. I, that's a great way to go and a nice little price. So I'm going to set this here and I'm going to hook this thing up. Like I said, it just goes where a servo did. I've pulled that wire. So I'm going to plug my servo and I'm going to plug this in right here. So it's replacing the exact position where the servo was and I'll set that there. I'm just going to, I, did, I haven't, this is just a demonstration, so I haven't uh, crimped on any ends. We're just gonna shove it in there with some folded over wire. All right, and let's plug in my battery pack. Like so, and of course I've got a switch here. And I'm going to hook it up to ultimately this channel right here, channel 4 on our transmitter. Let's go to some code. We have to make one minor modification. Uh, this is the code that uh, we did on the uh, previous video. And it's for the Pro Mini in this case. I could do the same thing for the Teensy or any Arduino. I want to go down to this channel 4. Remember. Uh, that when I did this last video I wanted it so that it, if it was kind of close to center it would automatically center it so that way I didn't have to deal with the motors moving uh, uh, erroneously so let's take and ram out this if statement like that and of course the bracket on the other end so now the right servo on channel one is still going to do the self-centering thing if it's close. The other servo, the one where a DC motor is hooked up into, is going to be getting the signal directly from this. And if we turn it on, well, we got let's uh, let's load it in. When we turn on the transmitter receiver for the first time and turn on this switch if the stick is center it's going to automatically center the speed controller or at least it should so let's give it a try turning on my transmitter now I'm going to turn on the power to basically everything and of course you can see I have a signal turn that on turn this on and let's see if everything works. Look at 
that? Forward and reverse. Proportional control. And this actually should still work too. Yeah. And our servo still works. So everything's good. So we'll call that quits. And I hope that was useful. Um, I think I have a small pile of these myself, these ESCs. Um, I'll put them on our website uh, at a good reasonable price and uh, if you need some um, I'd love it if you bought them and if not though you can find them at hobby stores or, or wherever and I will see you soon thank you